Gemco was an American chain of membership department stores that opened in 1959 and closed in 1986. Come in and see how low prices can go at Gemco. At Gemco, I pay less than I do at other stores, even on my food bill. We always wanted to give our bedroom a whole new look. You know, designer sheets and all. And at Gemco, we can do it for less than we thought. Come in and see how low prices can go at Gemco. Get the Proctor Silex 10-cup automatic drip coffee maker, just $19.97 at Gemco. Gemco was established in Anaheim, California in October of 1959. It was founded as Gem Company by an Anaheim jeweler in 1959. Gemco consisted of two stores when it was acquired by Lucky in 1962. Lucky stores added the supermarket element and expanded Gemco into a chain. Gemco was an early example of what would become a hypermarket. They offered one-stop shopping for everything from garden supplies to groceries, as well as regular department store offerings as well. Its concessionaires included gasoline, which was located outside away from the front entrance, and jewelry. One innovation the store offered, found nowhere else at the time, was the storing and delivery of already purchased groceries when the member was finished shopping the rest of the store. A numbered plastic card was placed on the cart and its match was given to the customer. When the member was done shopping and ready to leave the premises, the member merely needed to drive to the side of the store where the plastic card was given to the security guard. The guard would call for a courtesy clerk to deliver the groceries and the clerk would load them into the member's vehicles. Niceties such as this won many new members to Gemco and created repeat business. Gemco also offered a credit department to help increase sales. It was particularly busy every year during the Christmas shopping period. On a trial basis, a few Gemco stores offered free babysitting while an adult was shopping in the store. The adult would drop off the child in the designated area of the store and would be given a ticket with a number on it. Kind of like Ikea. This experiment lasted less than a year. California law required a caregiver in a commercial operation to be licensed and insured as a daycare, not watched by Gemco store employees. Gemco also started the Gemco Charitable and Scholarship Foundation, a California corporation, in November of 1959. The foundation held annual scholarship competitions in the area where Gemco had stores. The format was almost like a speech and debate tournament with the winner receiving a $1,500 scholarship and the runners up being awarded smaller sums. Gemco members also received a monthly catalog. The Gemco Courier contained Saturday Evening Post inspired covers. The East Coast stores located in Washington DC area were called Memco instead of Gemco to avoid confusion with an already existing area chain called Gem. Memco stores had a blue color scheme on its walls and signage. Memco honored Gemco membership cards and vice versa. Sometimes when an advertising photo showed a membership card, the first letter in the logo was concealed so that the same picture could be used in both Gemco and Memco ads. Memco entered the Washington DC market in 1969 with 100,000 square foot stores located in Annandale, Virginia and Camp Springs, Maryland. When they exited the market in 1982, there were 13 stores. All of these locations were converted to Bradley's upon Gemco's closing. Memco also had stores in other locations including some in Arlington Heights, Illinois, one in Niles, and one in Lombard, all suburbs of Chicago, Illinois. These stores opened in the early to mid-1970s. Once they were closed, they became Eagle Grocery Stores. 
During the 1960s and 1970s, business and profitability continued to be healthy and Gemco quickly expanded. All of that ended in the 1980s. A series of unsuccessful leveraged takeover attempts from other companies were made on its parent company, Lucky Stores. Unlike other department stores who were losing money due to massive overexpansion or continuous declining sales or changing markets, Lucky Stores decided it would close its ailing Gemco discount store chain to prevent a 1986 hostile takeover bid by Asher Endelman. This liquidation occurred from September of 1986 to November of 1986. The stunning move would leave 9,000 employees in Southern California without jobs. Lucky Store's decision to close the 70 stores in California and 10 in Arizona and Nevada was part of an effort to restructure Lucky and fend off an unwanted takeover attempt. Jemco employed a total of 14,000 people. In 1986, Jemco was based in Buena Park. They operated seven stores in Orange County, one in Anaheim, Fountain Valley, Huntington Beach, Mission Viejo, Santa Ana, and two in Fullerton. Each store employed about 168 people. The Lucky Stores sold 54 of its 80 Jemco locations for $374 million to Dayton Hudson, who would rebrand the stores into Tar Target opened stores in most of the former Gemco locations by the fall of 1987, having remodeled many of the Gemco's former prime business locations into Target's bright red and white trade dress. This move helped Target establish an entry and foothold into California as well as the rest of the West Coast. So what are your fondest memories of Gemco? Leave a comment below. For me, I remember going to the Gemco in Fullerton on your Belinda Boulevard next to the 57 freeway. It's now a Target, but I went with my family in 1982. I remember Gemco had everything, much like a Target and Walmart today. This is some of the old footage of the Gemco that was closing in 1986. Thank you for watching. If you like this content and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.